Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Scarbo speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. I want to speak to you today about the astrology and Kabbalah of December 2017. Yes, we have made it to December. Who thought we would? Um, it's a very exciting month. The um, major aspects, there's actually a lot of things happening in December and so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do two separate videos. The first one we're going to concentrate on the Kabbalah um, and the numerology along with what's going on with Uranus and then we'll go over, the second one we'll go over uh, the other important things that are going on this month. So I'll be right back. So here we are in December. Of course we know that December is the 12th month of the year. If we take the 12th of December and add to add the universal uh, year vibration of the 10, we get the 22 vibration. The 22 vibration is the master spiritual builder. It is also connected to the fool card in the tarot. So let's first look at what it says about the fool card. We're going to pull in here. Now this is, oops, sorry about that. This is from uh, Pamela Eakin, PhD's book, uh, The Spiritual Tarot. This is what she says about the full card. Let me just, oops, sorry again. Pull that out. All is movement, all is change. This is a precarious time. Take a risk, have faith, trust that you will be cradled. Every fall moves you closer to your target of per perfect love. Use this opportunity to create, concentrate on the present, place one foot in front of the other, detach from outcome, and take that leap of faith. Breathe in the, the air of spirit or the breath of spirit. So this is a, a both a precarious and an exciting time. Now let's go up to the Fool. And the Fool card is a very interesting card. Here we have a, a supposed Fool who is just about ready to fall off a cliff. This is actually symbolic of our descent into matter uh, from spirit. So this Fool is actually our higher self or our spiritual self with a willingness to move into uh, a new manifestation. This uh, figure has a white rose in his hand, symbolic of purity. He has a little dog biting at his heels, um, sort of symbolizing our instinct to move forward beyond uh, the fear, to actually we're being prodded by our instincts to move forward. And uh, he also has a little satchel on a stick. And that satchel holds all his past lives and, and everything that um, he has accumulated from his incarnations into matter and coming back. Now we can see that the Fool card actually has the zero. And um, so this is a zero or a 22 vibration. It is about a beginning. Um, now let's go and pull out a little bit and we're going to go to the Tree of Life and see where this falls on the Tree of Life. Okay. So on the Tree of Life, this path is actually the path that runs between Kether at the very, very top and Hokma at, uh, to the upper right there. Um, this is the first path that the lightning flash um, moves down. It, it, we are moving from pure spirit into uh, the, uh, the the journey towards manifestation. Hokma is the path, I mean the Sephiroth of force. It is the male yang uh, energy. So this path is very, very energetic, very forceful. And it really is uh, the first step in spirit into manifestation. This particular path is associated with the planet Uranus. Uranus is connected to the Fool card. It's connected to the 22-4 vibration. Let's talk a little bit. Uh, oh, and, and the other thing I want to say is that the chakras activated with Kether and uh, Hokma are the crown and the third eye. So expect to be getting a lot of information coming in through the crown, uh, and then into the third eye. We will have visions, we will see things, uh, we will know things, we won't know how we know them, we don't know why we're seeing them, but uh, we are actually being seated directly from spirit this month. Let's talk about the 22 vibration. I'm going to bring you down here to where we have um, 
oops, this information here. So we have the Master Builder. This is the God energy brought to us, brought to the material plane and put into form. This vibration holds a great deal of responsibility. It is the God energy put into structure to build a firm foundation. Be a good steward and accept this responsibility to uplift the race. Opportunity to cooperate with God's plan. Spiritual Master Builder on the material plane. So what I want to do now is I want to look to the planet Uranus. In December, Uranus, for all intents and purposes, is at the 25th degree of Aries. Um, Uranus is now moving retrograde. It's moving very slowly because on January 2nd it will be uh, stationing direct. So we have a shift of the energy of Uranus right at the very beginning of the year. Uranus is the energy of revolution, and so uh, I know I'm not talking about next year, but for sure there are going to be some uh, major revolutions next year. So let's talk about the 25th degree of Aries, and we're going to look, of course, my favorite book, okay, is um, The Saving Symbols, 25 degrees of Aries states, okay, there we are. The possibility for a man to gain experience at two levels of being, the revelation of new potentialities, the individual is truly on probation. And so this is really about being aware on more than just the physical level, also being aware on the spiritual level. And so we have a connection to that spiritual level, and it's very, very active. Uranus makes a lot of aspects to other planets this month. And um, the first aspect that it, that it does make is the most difficult, and it is Mars opposite Uranus. And we're going to take a look at that, so uh, I'll be right back with that. Okay, so here are some of the major aspects. On December 1st, we have an opposition between Mars and Uranus. Um, this is actually half, uh, the halfway point in a cycle that began on February 26, 2017 when these two planets made a conjunction at 22 degrees of Aries. Oppositions are points of awareness. Mars is our desires, but it's our action. And Uranus is our higher self. And so we have an opportunity to see how we have sort of moved through this time. What do we need to do? How do we need to act? Uh, do, is the way we're acting working for us? Is it in alignment with our higher self? Or do we need to do something different? Now, Mars is a very aggressive energy, and Uranus is very explosive. So this, there's a lot of tension as December begins, and we have to be really careful about this. This is not a good day to do anything dangerous. It's not a good day to allow your temper to take over. I, what I want to do is I want to talk about that 22 degrees of Aries where this conjunction actually occurred. What's interesting about... Uh, February 26th is February 26th was actually the day of an eclipse and so there was a lot of power in that day to begin with and then add the powerful energies of Uranus and Mars and so something is breaking open right now something that was planted back in February is breaking open at this time so let me grab my book and I will read to you 22 degrees of uh, Aries this being the seed the gates of the garden of all fulfilled desires. The keynote is abundance made possible by human togetherness and cooperation. And uh, the key words are cosmic optimism. This is very interesting because I think the most important and most telling part of that was the idea of cooperation. And we have actually seen um, the the results of that cooperation, at least here in America with the last uh, election cycle where there were a lot of people who were uh, in politics for a long time that were uh, sort of kicked out by people who had much more progressive and inclusive and cooperative uh, ideals and ideas. And so we can see that the tide is turning. 
this year, this 10-1 year of um, planting seeds, we have planted some pretty potent seeds. We're already seeing them come to fruition. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is Mercury. Now, Mercury makes three trines, disseminating trines to Uranus. The first one actually occurred in November, November 25th. Um, and then we have another one, December 10th, and then the last one, um, hold on, yes, December 10th, and the last one, December 25th. The December 10th one is uh, when Mercury is moving retrograde. The reason we have three is that uh, Mercury is moving retrograde, and so uh, it, makes a, a con it makes a trine before it goes retrograde, once it goes retrograde, it goes back over that point, and then when it goes direct, it goes back over that point again. What's interesting about this is that this is a disseminating trine, and Mercury is the lower mind, and Uranus is the higher mind. So the higher mind is informing the lower mind. We are, this is a point of harvest, and this was actually part of a cycle that began in March of uh, March 26th, about a month exactly from the time we had um, the conjunction between Mars and Uranus, here we have Mercury and Uranus, and this occurred at 24 degrees of Aries, and I want to read 24 degrees of Aries to you. It says, blown inward by the wind, the curtains of an open window take the shape of a cornucopia, openness to the influx of spiritual energies and the key words are molded by transpersonal forces. So here's another indication that we are working on more than one level and that spirit is informing our choices and informing our mind and informing us and we have there is a lot of power available to us and we might best use it to create the world that we want to see. Now that being said, Mercury also makes three conjunctions to Saturn, and uh, Mercury conjunct Saturn is a seed of manifesting uh, your reality based on what you focus on and what you think. And so we have this information coming in from our higher self, and then the seed is planted with Saturn. I'm not going to talk about Saturn too much because there's a lot to talk about with Saturn and the fact that Saturn is changing signs. We'll do that in the next video. The next thing I want to talk about is what happens on December 16th and we have another trine. This is a 240 degree disseminating trine between the Sun and Uranus. And so here we have illumination around uh, what our higher self is trying to uh, inform us of. This was seated back on April 14th when these two planets were conjoined at 25 degrees of Aries. Remember 25 degrees of Aries is our ability to work on two levels of consciousness. And then on the 20th we have um, a, a trine again between this time between Venus and Uranus. Venus at 25 of Sagittarius, Uranus at of course 25 of uh, Aries. This is another disseminating. You know, we're, all these planets moving into Saturn, I mean, excuse me, moving into Sagittarius, make disseminating uh, trines to Uranus. And so everything that was seeded with Uranus is really sort of coming to fruition at this time um, on some level or another. So let me, uh, this was actually seeded, I don't bring it down here. This was seated back June 4th, 2017 at 28 degrees of Aries. 28 degrees of Aries, a large audience confronts the performer who, is who has disappointed its expectations. The necessity for mature preparation and self-criticism. Um, and the key word here is responsibility. What's interesting about that is that Venus is the planet of the feminine. And this symbol says to me that someone very high up is going to be held responsible for his actions against women. So we will just, I'll just put it out there. Okay, that's what I think that this part of this, uh, this configuration is. So I think that's what I'd like to say about Uranus and uh, this month. We are being informed by uh, higher spiritual energies. Uranus is at 25 degrees of um, 
is um, excuse me, Uranus at 25 degrees of Aries is actually trying the galactic center. All these planets in Sagittarius now are conjuncting the galactic center. The galactic center is the center of our universe. It's where all the stars are born So, uh, in our galaxy. And so it is sort of the light that shines its, its way into the darkness so that we can find the, the light within and shine it forth. This is a very exciting time. December is really the beginning of 2018 because um, we are at the top of the tree. And so a lot of the energy, a lot of the things coming in, a lot of the realizations that we have at this time will uh, further extrapolate and further grow next, next year. So it's a very exciting time. I will be back to talk about the rest of December because there's a lot of other things going on that are that need to be talking about need to be spoken about I don't think I'm making English sense here um, besides Uranus but I wanted to talk about Uranus because that is the the path being activated on the tree of life I'll see you again soon ciao